Actually, these are songs from the days when my freak flag flowed from the top of my head down to my waist. And I wore high-heeled boots with heels so high that if you fell off them, you didn't sprain your ankle, you broke your neck. <laughs> and very often I could see nothing in the streets because of the amount of mascara clogging my eyelashes together. And I was humped over by the weight of beads pulling me forward from the neck. And I'm going to finish off an epic tale from those never to be forgotten but hardly able to be remembered years. About 1968. I got up this evening, I was feeling blue. Wasn't all that surprising, I'm an ancient Brit, no takes pride in his appearance. I indulge in every new book, book, I don't argue with the leaders of the Druids. Cause even if they knowed that I think I have to bear a far too heavy woad, when they send me to battle down by the Roman road, I don't argue, they don't argue, nobody argues with Druids. I got up and went outside, a stranger was about, it was a Roman in the gloaming, and it gave an awful shout, when I whipped off me fig leaf and I flashed myself about, he didn't argue. I ain't got a secret weapon, it's there for all to see, and in me turquoise birthday suit and blue from head to knee, when the village maiden said, they invite me up for tea. Now Merlin was a plumber, I think that's the right verse, it's 126 verses, it's sometimes hard to know with these kind of Shannos British numbers. <laughs> well I got up and went outside, a stranger was about, we had him, didn't we? Okay, we'll go back to Merlin now. Merlin was a plumber, but he had got off quite far. He was an honorary druid appointed by Queen Boudicca. He was devious and shifty, like used cars he dealers are. One didn't argue with Merlin. When he heard about the Roman, he looked shifty and he hissed. Time has come to rid our land of the imperialist. And he jumped about as if possessed. I think that he was pissed at an argue. He said, now take this liquid, put it in the rack we looked. Made from special mushrooms that I myself have plucked. Aye, when Romans drink it, they'll be rightly screwed up, won't they? I said, yes, I didn't think much of his poetry, though, but you can't argue with druids. <laughs> well, I was going through the forest, when who should I see there but a beautiful camp follower, a camping in the air. And she said, I'll have sailor, but you'd have to see me there. Argue. I love animals. <laughs> Still, being on a mission, I should have had more sense. But the sight of her proportions made me lower my defense. For I've heard with campers the excitement is intense. As we lay down, a voice said, What do you do with my wife? I said, Just the usual. And a Roman stuck a knife. Off we have me fundament. I shouted, Spare me life. And no, all they didn't argue. I said, Your four Londinium, where you will have to face trial by cross section of the Roman populace. They'll be crossing up to crucify you in the marketplace. They don't argue in Londinium. I was a manacled depressive. Then I had an idea. I had an idea. I said, you must be weary, soldier, have some British beer. And I pulled out Merlin's bottle and he said, oh, you are a dear. I didn't argue. 
So he took off my handcuffs and we sat down on grasses and his bird pulled out a corkscrew and three plastic army glasses and I said, strange how quickly one's life passes. We didn't argue. I said, I'll drink to that because I wish I was at home. Or even on the continent, where all roads lead to Rome, but now you're not in the market, I'm stuck in this battle zone. But we were sitting there and drinking, and it wasn't very late. And suddenly the ground turned pink and began to undulate. Roman turned to me and said, Was it something that we ate? I didn't argue. I couldn't argue. My known portion of the universe was changing. Things were going up and things were going down and things were going round and round. string theory incarnate. I looked up in the branches of the nearest oak tree. There were oak trees then. So little oak tree slug. He began to sing. Never in my life have I heard little oak tree slug sing the sweetest song. Don't put the cat in the washing machine and you'll get the sock in the puss. <laughs> wow. Well, we thank the druid murdered me a mushroom soup with weed in because now, man, I know where it's at. I'm through with tears, sweat and bleeding. Me and a Roman are going to get political asylum up in Sweden. They don't argue up there. Peace, brothers and sisters.